Hey, we're out here, Prairie Dog Field, wide open Wyoming. And I've got this crazy AR that's kind of become a Frankenstein gun that I've set up. And it's got an aftermarket adjustable stock. It's got this ATN electronic scope on it, custom grip. But where I start every time on any AR, and most guns actually, but especially ARs, is a Timney trigger. So I wanted to give you a kind of what we have this set up and, and some tips. So this is kind of their basic AR trigger. It's a single stage, three pound trigger, nice, crisp, repeatable, and we're trying to be super accurate. Prairie dogs are like about this big. So out to hundreds of yards, you can't mess around. You gotta be accurate. So one of the things on here is a straight trigger guard. And I kind of like that on this gun. A lot of times they have the big scooped out trigger guards which is great for if you have gloves on, that kind of thing. But for this application, warm weather, we don't have to worry about gloves. And the straight trigger guard, you're able to put your finger right on it, kind of rest it there, and your trigger finger is gonna be at the same spot every time. So what does that do for you? Well, it's a consistent trigger pull. Also, it places my trigger finger at the bottom of the trigger. And it's kind of like, a, a, it's a fulcrum, it's a lever, you have leverage, when you go down the bottom. So it's gonna be a little bit lighter feel to the trigger versus being way up high on the trigger. It's gonna be a little bit heavier trigger pull and not as consistent because where is your finger falling on the trigger each time? It's not consistent. So on this particular application, I like to rest my finger right on that trigger guard. But it's where I start for really any rifle. It's an easy upgrade, it's easy to install, and that's what we're doing with this Timmy trigger today.